It's very honor of me to stand here today to introduce about one of our works, which talks about the institutional reward and punishment in the public good game. I've seen that maybe this, this topic has already been introduced by some of the various uh, um, speakers already. Um, actually, for our work, this is an experimental work. But uh, today I will not introduce about its experiment, but because in the afternoon, the Professor Tao will introduce the some of its interesting experiment results. So here today, in my presentation, I only concentrate in some of its simple theoretical results, analyze. Okay? I would first start my presentation with some of the, intro uh, the introduction of the common public good games and some of the uh, very easy common result, uh, theoretical result in that. And then followed by, in the second part, I will introduce about our design of the institutional reward and, the, and some of the reason why we design like that. And in the third part, uh, we will go on to introduce about the punishment. And in the last part, we combine the reward and punishment together to see what will happen. And finally, we will have a very short summary and conclusion So first of all, what is the public good game now? Oh, really, this is a topic I have told a lot of times, so uh, let me talk about it again. It's this kind of game that everyone join the game will have an uh, element of E, and every individual in this game will decide how much money he should uh, devote into the public pool. And once the money was put into the public pool, all the money in the public pool will then time an enhancing factor R, which is bigger than 1. And finally, the, all the in investment and the income from the public pool will return to everyone join the public good game equally, but in the independent of their contributions. So it's very easy to calculate the payoff for the players who join the public good game. Well, that means it, it should be the remind of his element, that means E minus X, and plus what he would receive from the public pool. That means if his contribution is X, and the other contribution of other players should be X2, X3, until Xn, then his payoff should be written like this way. It's very easy to see that uh, in this formula, if once the value of R is less than N, then it would become a social dilemma. Because uh, if you contribute to the public pool, then the total, total payoff of the group will increase. But if you only look at your payoff yourself, uh, you would see that your contribution only has a negative feedback. The more you contribute, the less you will get from the, uh, from the games. When you uh, only consider yourself's contribution, but not the others, Uh, so it's, it's also very easy to uh, establish the uh, replicator dynamic of this game. Because I've told you this is uh, experiment, experimental work, so we also establish a system which is similar to the experiment work. Uh, now we assume that the strategy for the game is not a continuous numbers, but just uh, some of the selection in, the, in this area. That means it should be a finished support of the area variable to E. Uh, the, the, the player in this game can choose his strategy from x1, x2 to xn. Uh, actually, in this experiment, they can only uh, select the integer numbers, integer monitor unit. And then we use pi to denote the probabilities of each strategy in these populations. And, and then it will be very easy to write out the replicator. The equation should be uh, dot pi equals pi times the, the payoff difference between uh, the xi strategy when he meets the average uh, uh, average population and minus the average uh, pay, payoff uh, player get for the average population. Uh, theoretically, it's very easy to cover it out uh, when we consider about the evolution of x bar which means the average contribution of this group. Um, it's easy to see that it would be always less than zero. So that means the only, 
only point for for this game is to the smallest uh, contribution. That was also similar to what we, we can see from the normal public good games. And in addition, we, uh, we also give uh, adaptive dynamics about this game. This is also very easy to see. Uh, for the adaptive dynamics, uh, it assumes that the population starts with monomorphic population, that everyone uses the same strategies. And once some of the mutation happens, some of the player attempts to a small jump to a very close uh, strategies, and we like to see uh, what the, the whole population would change, whether this uh, mutation will invade or not. And it's very easy to calculate the uh, derivation of x to be right in this way. As you see, a uh, public good game is a publish, uh, uh, population game. It's a symmetry population game. Population game. That means uh, the payoff of one player is only decided by the, pay, the contribution of himself and the average contribution of the rest of the group. But no matter which position this player has, has been, no matter if it's player one or player two, and no, ma no matter uh, the other player's uh, contributions, x3 or x4, uh, the, the only thing's uh, effect is payoff, the average payoff of others. Um, and especially in the adaptive dynamic, because everyone has the same strategy, so here they only use one parameter here, x here, to present for all the others' uh, contribution. So the payoff function can be easily uh, used in this form uh, to write pi y x. And we can calculate out this result. Uh, it's easy to see that it is, it's also uh, always less than zero. That means the, yeah, it's a continuous strategy. And that means the x will always decrease until it reaches zero. So this is a common result for the uh, public good game. And I think that this is well known to everybody sitting here. Uh, so next, uh, I will introduce about our institutional reward and punishment. First, we uh, I like I like to say about something about our institutional reward. Before I set the institutional reward, I'd like to give some principle we've used uh, in the experiment. Um, the first one talk about that the uh, institutional reward were forced to happen for each round after the player has played a public good game. And only one of the players of the individual will receive the reward. Only one of them. And who will receive the reward was uh, decided by this function that fx, x2, x3, and xn. x means this player's pay off. Oh. Uh, let me go on with uh, probabilities. And fx, x2, x3, and x, xn denotes the probabilities for player x, uh, for, for the player who contributes x, but the rest group contributes x2 to xn. The probability he gets the reward. Um, and it, it should be, for the second, second one, it, it should be the principle that if everyone contributes the thing, then the f should be just a 1 over n. That means if everyone contributes the same, then the probability is equal. And the third one talks about the f should be an increase in function. That means the more you contribute to the public pool, the more chance you will get, be, you will be rewarded. And about the fourth one, it is because I, I just told this in the public, uh, publishing game. So we want to keep it still to be a pub publishing game. So we only Design these parameters to be these functions to be uh, only related to the average contribution of the rest of the group, but not to the uh, one particular contributions. So the function can also write as follows. Then we would add uh, a times. Uh, oh, here I will introduce about the a. A means the intensity of the reward. Here, uh, actually, in the experiment, we've designed uh, several sessions. Uh, a is not a, a constant number, but here in the theoretical part, I only uh, analyzed the, the situation that the reward is a fixed number. So here, if the reward is defined as A. 
And it is easy to know that the original Nash equilibrium for full defector would still be a Nash equilibrium if A is smaller than this condition. And then we can also write down its adaptive dynamics. Uh, I think this equation is very easy. But uh, in, in addition, um, this can calculate out the order rest point interior of the area, but uh, rest point do not mean it's a Nash equilibrium, or even do not mean it's a, a com convergence stable. The additional condition should be that it should be the maximum number, but not the minimum. So we should add this condition to judge whether it's a Nash equilibrium or a stable, convergence stable. Uh, so here for by I give some of the example. This is a parameter we've just uh, used uh, in actually in our experiment. Uh, this I think this this group of parameters is a very classical numbers. Uh, we use four people in the group, and everyone in each round has uh, twenty elements, and the enhancing factor would be one point six. And here. The followed by the f function is the definition of our uh, reward, reward probability. I would like to explain about this uh, this equation. The meaning of this equation is basically uh, described like this: the the probability for one individual to get the reward is proportional to its contribution. But if we only use proportional to its contribution, it should be right like x. Uh, x over x plus 3 times x minus 1. Uh, but actually, in the experiment, uh, this, this will make a problem. So we add a basic number to every player. That means every player in the game will not escape from the uh, reward or punishment. Uh, and, uh, once you are in the game, you cannot escape. So everyone has a basic number. Even you don't contribute anything, you, you, you contribute nothing to the public pool, you still have a very little uh, probability to be rewarded. And the design of this uh, also means that, uh, because in the real world, the section system or the reward system is not that strict. Just like uh, Yomi Bata, Professor Yomi Bata has talked about, sometimes uh, someone contributes a lot, but may get the punishment, and someone may be contributed. <laughs> Yes, this kind of thing might happen because uh, the, the things in the real world are not always in numbers. Uh, for example, just uh, we have a conference here. A lot of people have contributed a lot to the conference. But there is no number to calculate who contributes how much to the conference. So it, it, it's not, uh, not able to do that. So sometimes the reward can be wrong. But we, we have to believe that once you contribute more, the more probability you would be seen by others and you would, would be rewarded by others. All punishment in the, in the same ways. So that's the rhythm of the design this way. And for this parameter, uh, I, I just need to draw all the calculation and just uh, give you the final result. And it's, a, it's a result from the adaptive dynamics to see uh, the most important thing is uh, uh, the intensity of the reward. Once the intensity of the reward is not strong enough, the point of zero, that means full deflection, still, uh, still is the, Nash, the only Nash equilibrium of the game. And with the increasing of the uh, intensity of the reward, and the interior, uh, interior of this area will start to have an uh, X star to be the rest point. And it's easy to know that this rest point is a Nash equilibrium. And once when the intensity of the reward is large enough, then the rest point will go up until we reach the top of this, this game. Yes, that means to 20. But as you see, uh, it's very easy to uh, drive all the people away from the original Nash equilibrium zero. But it's very hard to, to uh, get a full co cooperation condition. That means, uh, you see, the, the intensity should be over 16.7.2. It's too large. And we're also doing the 
uh, replicator dynamics uh, for, for the model, but the replicator dynamics sometimes seems more complicated. So here we only use some of the numerical uh, simulation to show you the result. And we use two kinds of uh, simulation. The first one, or provided by replicator dynamic, we just uh, write the complete form of this to write every probability of the K1, K2, and K4. But it's very complicated. And the second one, we provided another, another way in the mean field approximation. Since I just told you this is a population game, so it is also very convenient to just uh, assume that you meet the average contribution of the group. So we instead use X bar to all the rest of the group. And here is a simulation result. We would see that the replicator dynamic and the mean field uh, fit each other very well. They really the same since it's a public population games. And for the theoretical uh, predictor of the adaptive dynamics, it says that the X star should be 5.25. But actually, in the uh, replicator dynamic, because they only allowed uh, the individual to choose the integral numbers to integral strategy, so it won't come to the exactly this point. But you see the figure 3. The, the figure C, we can see finally most of the strategy turns to P5, that means their contribution is 5, because this star is nearly to uh, contribute to 5. And for the, for the contribute 6 uh, from the start, it has a, a thorough, thorough number proportion of um, strategy 6, but finally they decreased and uh, disappeared. In the next part, I will I introduced uh, about uh, because of the our design the experiment only talks about uh, a continuous functions that everyone will might get the reward or punishment just decided by their contribution. Another question is what what would it be if we only reward the highest one, only reward the one who gives the most uh, uh, largest uh, contribution. Uh, in this function, we can also write out is f function here. That should be like this. If x is a maximum number, is larger than the maximum number of all the rest of the group, then she will have the, uh, all probabilities to get the reward. And if k is one of the largest number in the group, then they will share the reward. And if he is not the largest number, then he will get nothing from this reward. This means that uh, in a situation that the reward is very strict, the reward system itself can recognize the, uh, very, very, uh, very clearly about everyone's contribution in this kind of situation. And we, we can also write down the payoff of every individual. For this situation, we only do the replicators dynamic because uh, for this definition, it's no more population games. So we cannot use the mean field, mean field of approximation, so only provide this uh, replic replicator dynamics. And we will see this, this time something different might happen. Uh, for the last graph uh, for the figure, panel B is denotes the frequency of every strategy. Finally, we will see that uh, P20, that means full comparators, uh, would be the most frequency, but still a lot of full defector existed in this system. Why this kind of result happened uh, is also very easy to understand because, or just uh, like, I, like I write uh, in, in the below, because there would be no Nash equilibrium in this game. Uh, it's very easy to see if we consider about the adaptive dynamics. Everyone in the same strategy, if someone increased his contribution uh, slightly higher, then he would get the whole reward. And this will push the group to, give, uh, to increase his contribution higher and higher until he re reaches the top. That means if for the uh, adaptive dynamics, the, the only uh, convergence stable point should be the full comparison. But it's also easy to know, even it's a convergence stable point, but it's not an actual curve. 
for everyone's uh, uh, contribute full contributions. And it's very easy for defectors to contribute nothing when they, they went to the group because he will get a lot of things from his uh, defecting, from the free writing. But since everyone is in a, on, on a talk venue, they share with the reward. They only get uh, very little. So you should know that then there won't be any. So for this, this graph, you will see uh, the full carburetor gets the highest population, uh, highest uh, uh, frequency, and then followed with full defector. And still, some of the strategy, just like uh, strategy one, two, three, still will exist. Because they always have some, even it's very small chances to meet the full carburetors. If we just contribute one, he meets three of the full defectors, he will get the reward only himself. But uh, there's not need to contribute more. So actually, in this simulation, the strategy from 7 to 19 disappeared, vanished at last. So next up, I will just introduce about the punishment. And the punishment is very similar to the reward, so I don't have to use many words about, to introduce about it. The only difference is that uh, the last parameter is minus. But this would change the dynamic a lot. Even the equation is very similar, but the dy dynamic is totally different. Uh, this dynamic has also introduced by Whoop and uh, other, other speakers already, so you, you, you can know it very quickly. Uh, here I only introduced about the probability for someone who gets the punishment. It's just a symmetry to what we define for the reward. Yes, it's very reasonable to see that. And it means that someone who will get the punishment is proportional to what he left for himself. The left unit he left for himself. But we also add a basic number of one to see that everyone will not escape from the system to ensure that. Um, for the adoptive uh, dynamic, it's very easy to calculate the, re the result to be x star should be uh, 14.75. And it's easy to know that this is not a stable point. So here we also provide the uh, simulation of the replica replicator dynamics and the midfield approximation. But what we should find in this uh, simulation is that it's not exactly uh, like what uh, adaptive dynamic has predicted. Because uh, adaptive dynamic says that if it's uh, higher than that x star, it would increase. But actually, it's still decreased. This might be because uh, it's no longer a linear uh, process, so something different might happen. Uh, so finally, I will talk about when we combine the reward and punishment together. Um, what happens uh, in this case? If, if the uh, intensity of reward and punishment is strong enough, then we will have a full completion environment. But once the, this is not strong enough, for example here, if the intensity equals uh, 60, uh, then there will there should be two rest points inside the interior of zero to E. And for this example, there should be one near six and another near, near 13. And we also do the uh, simulations. We will see that if the, if the group contribution is not that high, then they will reach the, the low rest point, the low uh, Nash curve. If the total contribution is higher enough, then it will become full contribution. Okay. Finally, uh, allow me to have a short summary and a conclusion. And um, about the parameter I've used here, uh, we draw all the Nash equilibrium result in this table. That means in the parameter. That, that parameter is actually what we used for the experiment. Uh, in the IR group, institutional report group, there is only Nash equilibrium inside the interior of zero to e. That would be five point six five. But for the uh, institutional punishment group, there would be an unstable point inside. And the zero means full deflection, and the full compression 20 would be too large curve. It is local stable. Local stable. 
And for the institutional reward and punishment group, the only stable point is to uh, full culprit. Um, about the function of the reward and punishment, I think a lot of people have talked about that, so I won't talk about it anymore. So, thank you. Thank you very much, John. Would anybody like to ask a question? Yeah, maybe I can ask about your comparison between the adaptive dynamics results and the replicator equation results for the discretized strategies. Yeah. I was just wondering why you were not using a higher resolution for the discretization just to get the results more closely you, together. Your higher resolution? Yeah, you had the integer steps. And yeah. uh, then you got some discrepancies. Because uh, I just uh, wanted it to be similar to the experiment. I just tell you this mm -hmm. is an experiment for mm -hmm. but this, this part is only theoretical analysis. So okay. in the experiment, actually, the people only decided from the particular numbers. Mm -hmm. So uh, also, this kind of things would be very complicated to make the uh, replicated dynamic to be very complex. But they just uh, want to see whether they, they won't have difference uh, to the adaptive dynamics. Right. But I think maybe finally they have difference, but their forms are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You want to the as, you, as you probably know, there's no reason to believe that an adaptive dynamics, which is based on small adjustments, yeah, yeah. the selection measure, gives the same result as starting from all strategies being yeah, present. Be thing, yeah. So sometimes they agree under some conditions, but under some other conditions they don't. So this yeah. was a kind of <coughs> numerical test yeah, of so that question. Mm -hmm. So I think this, this is also reasonable to understand the, mm -hmm. the result. Mm -hmm. yeah, since it's kind of auto exceptions. Mm -hmm. And if here in this condition it's not uh, <coughs> it's not in that kind of uh, exception. Mm -hmm. The surrounding is different so the maybe the pattern is also different. Yeah. Yeah okay so it's kind of robust yeah. check. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other questions? Right, probably everybody is quite hungry by now. So, oh, there's a question. Okay, our reliable backbencher is giving us a question. Thank you. So, do you know the condition of the mean field theory? The so condition? When, that is when you can use the mean field theory and uh, when not. Uh, that I think that we should depend on the game. As I said, when I use the mean field uh, approximation, only used uh, in population game. Because in not a population game, that means uh, it, its payoff not depend on the average payoff. So it would be a lot of difference. But if once the payoff only depends on the average payoff, that means if you use the mean level, it's okay. Maybe it's okay, but uh, actually you will see the result. So I have an idea. Maybe we can, maybe it, we can compute the variables. Variables? Yeah? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Then let us thank John again. Thank you very much. <laughs>